funny how a program designed to help organize your life. That's the reason why I can't be at Labor Day party. Uh oh. I'm glad we made the deadline. Bad can now spend two stress free weeks in good old province of. Hello? There it is, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow more. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah, but, uh, do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith. Have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. I don't really like that guy. Thanks so much Frank's for picking me up, Oregon. Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right then, get ready to roll. This lake, it's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. We can do that. We can do that. Mailbox. Oh, mailbox is over here. Deliver mail. Nice. Order tune up. Okay. Cool. We got this. Nothing too difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. Ha, <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here from Massachusetts uh, 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm... Um, uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Okay. Wait till you stop. Uh -oh. Uh oh so this is 103 okay let's make sure we pick the right one 103 okay won't fit in the mailbox so I'm gonna drop it off on the on the front over here Answer. Okay. Keep I'm going, going calling it a day. Drop the hat down. 
a small enough place. We can leave it there. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. We're getting pretty good at this. Ah, there's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. 7 o'clock. We would a delivery for this house. Yeah. To be home. We have to know. Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, oh one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food, and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. A pie. Meredith, nice. it's Steve. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Uh, I'll talk to you later. Yep. Still don't like Steve. Oh. Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? So we got up good and early. Uh, yeah. We have good attitude. We're happy to be here. So we're helping out our dads because he's in Florida. Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. Okay, well, that's nice. Oh, thanks. I'll probably need that. Bon voyage. Okay. Let's give it a go. Look at the map. Letters. One to the lake. One o two lake. One o three main. Parcels. Ooh. Okay, gotcha. So this is partials. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Can we? Yes, we can. We can zoom in. So this is a package. This is a letter. This is Main Street. Okay, we can do that. Okay, now we're gonna have to be smart about this as well. Which way will be best to go? Okay, well, let's get the, the little ones here first. Okay, off we go. Traffic is not too bad. There you go. So, two oh seven, two oh seven Main Street. Okay, let's have a look. Two oh seven Main Street. That's the one. Speed it up here. Make sure we don't block traffic. 207. Did this one? I don't see a house number on it, but 
and have a look. Can I help you? Hello, here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. Oh. You do? It's best not to feel bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. Oh, broken. Okay. Oh. Uh. And walk. We have the mail bar with us here, so we can walk down the street. Save a little bit of gas. Get to know the place. Uh. -uh. Ooh, let's make sure to walk. Let's walk here. This should be right here. I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Oh, well, there you go. Okay. Unlit. One parcel delivered. Excellent. Good job. Okay. This little town. Let's get back into the car. And then... We'll deliver some more stuff. Sale. Super, super sale. That's nice. Okay. And there. Oh, block and traffic. We might be. Should I'm we should actually go right. enjoying this. That where the most are. There you go. Wait, there's not a time limit on us or anything like that, so we can just take our time and do a good job. Ah, the mighty Ambrose River. That looks like I'll stop right here. There you go. That's us. Okay. One letter. Select. is just over there. So who are we delivering to? Oh, kitties. I think this person like cats. That's 200. Do we have a package for 200? Marshall. Lake Road 200, we sure do. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Two hundred. Should be it. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. Oh. Keep somebody soon this time. Genevieve, a new mailman. Hello there. What's your name then? Uh. Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course. You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago.
22 years to be exact, but who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost oh, two Genevieve's ago. <coughs> Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't, but shh. You do remember me, don't you? Uh, How nice. could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yes. Here you go. Ah, thank you, dear. Looks like another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Oh, well, uh, we better get running. Well, anyway, gotta run. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. Nice cat. Okay. And off we go. I have a feeling that might be a teddy bear. Okay, where are we at? Okay, that's gonna be, ooh, a little bit of a drive. Let it all the way out here, bakery. Okay. We can make that happen. Okay. It's like pretty safe. That's nice. Okay. Uh oh. And out of pavement. Whoa. This is close to where I had my first kiss. since we moved away from here but still and have a lot of memories looks like oh there it is oh right bear creek near the old lumber yard can we drive up there bunny bunny There's a new face. Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm Meredith. And here's your mail. Thanks. I better open this right away. Hey, you put. Oh, what the? It's not nice to snoop. Um. I'll leave you to it. Have a nice day. Uh, yeah. Thanks, and sorry. It's not your fault this is full of bullcrap. Well. Hmm. We might get to know people, but then we can. 
have a little more personal conversation with them, but first day, let them have a little space. Ooh, scary. Well, we made it. Eh? Let me think. Where was Bear Creek again? Oh, we got it. Got that taken care of. Don't you worry about it. Now we have a parcel just around the corner. Station again. There you are. That should be three hundred. Like row three hundred. That looks like it. Oh, that's heavier than I thought. Oh. Might be car parts then. to the person then hi there I've got some mail for this address you're not Frank I know uh, I'm Meredith Weiss I'll be delivering your mail for a while and Frank just gave you the keys to the goose the goose yes your white and wobbly van duh I'm Lori I'm Providence Oaks mechanic and I'm the one who keeps the goose running Oh, nice. Thank you. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in P.O. than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Yeah. All right. All right, I promise. Good. Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. Well, maybe we can get a cassette player. Good on her. There, Loco is a looks like a ghost. Ooh, let's try try that radio. In a few days, I won't even need that map. to deliver mail for it later. What it is. Oh, that's heavier than I thought. Like they're all full of surprises. Oh, looks like they're Meredith Wise? As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, 
Now, let me look at you. My, oh my, a few lines here and there, and the occasional gray hair. But by gosh, it's you, all right? Oh. Wow, Maureen, long time no see. I feel so old. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. I have time for that. Oh, uh, actually, this is our last package. We can do it. Okay. One quick drink then. I know you're busy, hon. Little bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. Uh, coffee. Coffee sounds good. Thanks. Two coffee coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry nice. pie. And Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm going to take my break now. You're a real trooper. Whoops. Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know. I'll, I take care of myself, maybe. Uh, well, don't tell him what to do. Ooh, so. That didn't sound good. Honestly! First the roof, and now this? Ugh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. Hey, that, that works, that works. Okay. I make sure to stay on her good side. Okay, post office, post office. Oh, go to the world, lovely. Okay, just back where we started. We got everything delivered. Nice. Is there? Oh, this is Ray Shot. That would be a long way around. Maybe we will get mail to get delivered on that road later. Besides, we still have pie at home. It will be okay. Here we are. Lean right here. You, Steve. Hello. Hi, Meredith. It's Papa. Mom. How are you? How's the job? Hi, Mom. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's 
strange not having to drive the truck anymore. I can imagine that. How is Dad? Can he handle all this freedom? Ugh, don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddies. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from the oh. bar and Dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. You gotcha. Let's see what's on TV tonight. Previously on Bon Appetit. Has anyone seen Henri? Yeah, he's in the kitchen, unpacking the new tableware. Henri! Did someone call me? Oh, hey. I have a feeling that Frank might be enjoying this show. We are ready for another day. Oh. That is quite the delivery route we're gonna have today. Oh, oh. Let's have a look here. Some letters. Some packages. And then some letters. All the way down there. Okay. We can do that. Good morning, Providence Oaks. We're starting the day as we always do with a PO positive or pet P, followed by the weather. PO positive or pet P. Dale, what's it gonna be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. Mm -hmm. mm, thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. But the weather's first. Oh, oh. Maybe they'll still be talking about that when we get back. I like that good positive vibes radio. And one of you. Hmm. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing party invitations? Ooh. What are we looking at? Three, five, one. Three, five, one. There you are. Oh, look. Same ghost icon on the prayer place. Actually present. It's exciting. Kung Fu Kid, oh. Welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? The Mace. Got a package for you, ma'am. Hold on. You're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. Uh. <laughs> is that a compliment? Trust me, it definitely is. Well, thank you then. Because I don't have a mustache. Name's Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie, Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? Oh, grew up here, and now I'm back to do my dad a favor. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. And what brings you here? Didn't grow up here, came to do myself a favor. Well, good Touché, you. Mrs. Eastman. Miss. Mm -hmm. Well, you did yourself a favor. 
So your dream was to rent out videotapes? Not a dream, per se. More like a vision. <laughs> hmm. Figured in a sleepy town like this, people don't have much to do anyways. Might as well watch okay. a flick, right? I don't know if that makes sense. Mm, you certainly have a lot of them. Choice is everything. Nothing quite tickles the imagination like the right movie at the right time. Hmm. Maybe I should watch more movies. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings twice? Well, thank you. <laughs> My kind of humor. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. But touche, Angie. All right. I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. Very polite. Okay, she's friendly. Okay. She also ends out vinyl. Very cool. You'd say a lot of the younger crowd probably go there. And she has some good movies. Okay. So let go stop. Did these folks order? No, don't know. A hat. Commander Grace, we have established communication with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we've landed the rocket. Ground control, we have landed the rocket. We will now begin our experiments. Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute. Commander Grace, permission to explore? Permission granted. Yep, we're the Evans family. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure, here you go. <laughs> nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait. What? Meredith? Uh... Buzz Aldrin? <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? For real? Y you don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? Wait a minute. Oh, Kay? Great. And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. I'm sorry, I didn't recognize you with the colander thing, the helmet. Yeah, clearly. But it seems I'm not the only one who came in disguise. Got me there. You've lived in Providence Oaks all this time? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans, I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. Mom! Be right there, Commander Grace. Scanning for alien life forms. That's my little oh, scientist go. back there. 
She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed. Even after the whole Challenger thing. Oh. Sounds like you're doing great. I'm happy for you. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years. So... Time flies. So, I heard you were back in town for a while. From Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. Your Uncle Stan wasn't there, unfortunately. I must have just missed him. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you were away. Also, I work there now. At the diner. Oh, well there you go, Portsy. That's great. Maybe I'll drop by sometime. Yeah, we'll see. Ready for a liftoff! Oh. Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. See you around, Em. <laughs> Good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. You can say that again. It's probably part. She seems like a good mom. I don't think she is all that excited about what happened with work. But that is probably having something to do with her family. That happens. Let's have a look. Okay. All the way around and then we'll make it. Okay, yeah, we can do this. But good on her daughter for still being excited about space. Hey. You have to be more careful when you drive. Mm -hmm. has been working all this time. Okay. I do my own. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Uh oh, that's like the radio station. It doesn't have a lot of selections, choices. Hey, Get some mom music. and dad have new neighbors. Siegler, huh? Don't think they ever mentioned them. Oh. Right, right, right. The radio station should get some music from the oh, girl. Looks like she had plenty of selections. House over. Next house over. Bad yeah. This is our little neighborhood. Hmm. These look like bills. Oh. We're gonna deliver a lot of those as well. Can we make that? Yeah, I think we can make that. Mm -hmm. 
birds. It's really a lot of wildlife. I love the disorder bunny. What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life, the next he, well, he just wasn't. Oh. Well, I don't want to make light of it. But... I mean, I'm not a vet, but he looks fine to me. Well, fact is, you're not a vet, are you? Do you know who knows about animals, though? It's Mr. Mackey. He runs the old bait shop by the lake. Could you take Mortimer to him? Uh, uh, sure, can make I'll get right on it. Here, little kitty, come on. Wonderful. Be nice to Meredith, Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair in her van now. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Bye, Meredith. See you soon, Mortimer. There you go. Uh, I think we got the letter delivered, so... Okay, yeah, she got the letter. Okay. We can make that work. So we still have to go all the way on the other side. This... Oh, there you go. So, that's the building on the lake. Got it. I how she measures time in cats. That's good. Uh, she like cats. Get to visit the paint shop. Oh, cool. Slide their driveways right there. Now the guy running the paint shop knows about the animals. Good luck. Mr. Mackey, I know you're closed, but... What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas, kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... Oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? Apparently it's Mortimer. Oh, pleased to meet you, Mort. Hmm, he's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? Cool. Cupcakes? I hope not. <sighs> Leave him with me, I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Thank you, sir. By the way, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. You go back to running around that lake, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Mortimer. Cupcakes. That's not good cat food. Okay. 
probably stop by tomorrow for the cat. Sounds like easy. Easy cure. That's good. See, oh, we can get in the car from here. Come on, goose. You need. See us running around a lot here. Cause some trouble. Nice one. That looks like there's oh, probably like an old, old little side route there. Maybe yep. yep. to know if there is if there a traffic jam which is something used like to think it. our spanner dam was just as big and famous as hoover dam then i visited hoover dam Looks like it. What on earth do these folks order? Hmm. Towels? Half ropes? Hello. Hello, sir. Uh -oh. Parcel for you. I'm not disturbing, but here's a parcel for you. One minute, I'm busy. Uh huh, I can tell. Okay, sir. Is that a parcel for me? Uh. Yes, sir. Oregon Trail Motel. You can just put it on the counter. Have a nice day. Oh, there you go. Oh. I think it was clearly into it, but maybe you should focus more on people stopping by. It's clear for us to go back home. Well, that was a full day. Sounds like we're okay to hold on for the move for a little bit, so that'd be nice. Oh, 
she's still working on the car. Okay. She probably figured that was going to take a little bit for the cat. All better when we we'll back home. You going into town? You are going into town. Us too. Steve, how are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you've got plenty of time, right? Uh... I guess, but that's nice for a change. Awesome, I need a favor. I sent a uh... bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for Added 87. It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can add it? Huh? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. How many pages are we talking about here? It's not much. It's just a pitch, and there's also an instruction booklet. Can't be more than 100 pages. I could just send it to your post office, right? So, 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 so. I guess. Awesome. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it, 87. Add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet. Bye. Mm -hmm. Yep, I agree. Less I. Ah. Uh. Hey, let's watch the movie. All right, well, let's watch this. The oh, movie? Steve's parcel and a note from Tess. Hey, Em, hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there anyways. Take care. Tess. Oh. Tess knows what's up. Okay. How's the day looking? Okay. Boop, boop, boop. We can... We can make that work. Oh, it's time for a Theo positive or that key. Okay, folks, let's see what it is today. The floor is yours, Angie. Good morning, Jack. Oh, I've got a pet peeve. Returned videos that have not been rewinded. Oh. I mean, really? Be kind and rewind. Thanks. Duly noted, Angie. And now on to today's weather. We can enjoy the sun in the morning, but the clouds will cover it more and more. Enough talking. Here are some tunes. Oh, there you go. It's cool. She was on the radio. Three, five, one. Three, five, one. That's lighter than I thought. Hello again. More mail for me? And the tape you gave me. Oh, wow. You watched it already? Rewinded. A drifter in a sleepy town, an affair, and a plot to kill a husband? There's a lot more to this movie than I expected. 
It's a classic, and probably my favorite noir. They did a remake a couple years back, but it's, well, it's not as good. You can't beat Lana Turner's smoldering intensity. Smoldering intensity. Yeah, she's great in it. I'm so glad you liked it. Most of the people here don't really appreciate the art of classic cinema. They just want to see Police Academy again. Um, oh, you would know more? <laughs> I'm afraid you're right. Pretty lonely being the only movie buff around. Oh. Uh. Well, keep feeding my VCR and I'll be up to speed in no time. Will do. Let me think about it and I'll get back to you. You know, okay. it's good to see you. Any particular reason? Because I have a sneaky little plan. Uh -oh. oh, we're whispering now? I want you to meet me, say, at, at five today. Okay. Is that the plan? No, but it's where I'll discuss the plan. You in? All right. Okay. I'm in. Hurrah! I'll see you this afternoon. Wait, where are we meeting up? Your place. It's 102 New Street, right? Yes. How did you find that out? Looked up your last name in the Rolodex. Your parents are regular clients. Well, it's settled then. See you at five, partner. We have some movies, so we can't move out anywhere else. So makes sense. Okay. If we walk there. Uh, ah, it's not that bad. We can walk there. Make sure everything's clear, everything's clear. Uh, is this our stuff? It looks like it is. Maybe not. There you are. Or three. There you go. Steve is probably gonna call us tonight, tomorrow, say hey, is it all done? But I am off and he knew it. Oh, missing cat. Wonder if that's her cat. Sure. Why do you all good? On track. That's not exciting. What a little secret plan she has. Can we make this? Oh, not quite. That's okay. Uh, looks like this one. Yep. Got it. is gonna go pick up the cat now. Oh, oh. Look at that. We're already hell on the way. Have you... How are we going now? Alright, we still have letter and a marshal and then, then pick up cat. Yeah. 
Is that? We good? Because we got this. There you are. One letter. Oh, oh, oh. That's a quick. Yep. yep. We can do this. I wonder if the cat got some good fish. Probably. Like he was pretty good at that. Try this door. Okay, knock, knock. Nope. No answer. Okay. We'll leave there. We'll drop off the package first. Maybe the cat doesn't have to hit, sit and wait in the truck. Probably don't have air conditioning. So. Would be best for the cat. you doing this fun day? I'm fine, but how are you? You know, with the kitchen exploding? Oh, that? <laughs> Nothing a fresh lick of paint and a mop couldn't fix. Doesn't mean to scare okay. you. <laughs> Let's pick up where we left off, shall we? And one piece of blueberry pie. Ashley, one blueberry pie. Meredith Weiss, back in Providence Oaks. How's life treating you, darling? Is he busy? It's all right, actually. I delivered a package to Kay at her house earlier. Yeah, she told me. How did that go for you? That was okay. I think it went okay. I can imagine it can be a lot to take in for the both of you, especially after being away for so long. Then again, there are some things that never change, right? <laughs> you being one of them. <laughs> I will take that as a compliment. But I bet the diner looks a bit strange to you, doesn't it? I like what you did with the place. Yeah. I decided it was time for a change. Didn't feel the same after my stand died. World keeps okay, turning. Go. Gotta keep moving along with it, right? 
Oh my gosh, Maureen. Stan died? I'm so sorry. I, I had no idea. Thank you, darling. But it's really okay. It's been ten years already. Ten and a half, almost. Oh, boy, did I love that man. Oh, we'd been married for so long. It hit me like a brick, but after a while, I decided that sadness wasn't the only emotion I was allowed to have. That's not what oh. Stan would have wanted either. That's really inspiring. Thank you, hon. I do appreciate that. Anyway, you have to get back up. So I did. For me, but also for Kay. <sighs> she took her uncle's death pretty hard. I can imagine that. <sighs> Sorry for dumping all that on you like that, darling. Gosh, <laughs> look at your face. I'm a bit surprised you didn't know. Didn't your parents tell you about it? Or Kay? I'm not sure. Uh, it's okay, hon. I honestly don't give a hoot about any blame game. We all have our lives to live, but Kay's been through a lot. Uh, yeah. Nursed her uncle through his illness, helping me out. I think seeing you again shook her up a little, is all. She must have missed you during those days. I can imagine. Oh. It was good to see her again. I've missed her too. Then it sounds like you know what to do. Listen, Meredith. Time marches on. And eventually, you realize it's marching across your face. Life's too short. That's exactly why I decided this place could do with a repurpose after Stan passed. Fresh start. It's been Moe's Diner ever since. And believe it or not, business is better than ever. That's great to hear, Maureen. Congratulations. Why, thank you kindly. And listen, you check in with me and Kay again soon, you hear? Don't forget about what's important in life. Put on her. Hand on my heart, I will return as soon as I have a delivery. Or sooner. Huh? I'll hold you to that. You bet. Bye, Maureen. There you go. Yeah. A lot of things happen. Oh. Yep. We are on track. Ooh. We have a couple more letters. Okay. It is no problem. Got this. First, we have a little E-line companion we need to pick up. I feel like the bishop should have a sign out on the road as well. to find them. Hi there, Mr. Mackey. How's Mortimer? Oh, good day, Meredith. Mort's fine, as I expected. It was just a little indigestion. Good night's rest and a bit of lake trout in the morning has done the little critter a world of good. Excellent. Miss Jenkins will be pleased. Let me take him off your hands. All right. Bye, Mort. Anything else, Miss Weiss? Enjoying yourself so far? I'm having fun, yes. Well, that's good. I'm guessing I'll see you around a lot more, Miss Weiss. For sure, Mr. Mackey. Have a nice day. That was nice. Good on him. Hey. Where 
time to go home. Now, if she tries to feed you any more cupcakes, just say no. It would actually be cool if like, the rental store ladies wanted to do is like a like a film festival thing. I don't know if this town actually have like a, a movie theater or something like that. So she's uh, like an outdoor venue or something like that. Watch movies. That could be your plan. That would be exciting. And there you are. One can get delivery. Look who's back! Mortimer! Oh, look at you! You're good as new! Yeah, Mr. Mackey did say not to feed him cupcakes. Hmm, I suppose he's right. It's it's just that he likes them so much. Don't you, Mortimer? Anyway, thank you so much, Meredith. My pleasure. See you, Miss Jenkins. Call me Mildred, dear. Say goodbye to Meredith, Mortimer. If it's the expert says it, then then we don't get in trouble. Okay. One letter up the street here. Oh, that works because that way we can take the little dirt road and go up to the lumberjack. Huh? Nice. One letter. Hopefully it's better news for him. Didn't seem like he liked the last letter he got. I think there's other animals to fight. Get this bird. Oh, nice. We get to spot a coyote or a deer. Maybe a little more tricky. They do tend to hide. Eh, okay, almost there. There we are. There's the bunny. To get out of its way. There you are. There's a face I remember. Good morning, Mr. Harris. Hey there. More paperwork with my name on it? Well, take a look for yourself. Thanks. Oh, it gets worse every day. More bull crap? Can you believe it? I've been taking care of this lakeside for years. And now they're gonna bulldoze it and build apartments. Oh no. Oh, that's a shame. I'd hate to see the place I grew up ruined by an apartment building. What? You grew up here? Yes, but that was a long time ago. Time flies, huh? I guess. But tell me about that paperwork. 
They say you can file an official objection, but I'm not a great match with bureaucracy. I'd rather get the chainsaw and cut down Town Hall. Oopsie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy now. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a nice thought, though. Well... Maybe I can help out. I'm better with paper than chainsaws. Would you? Awesome. I'll think about it. Have a great day. Good day, Mr. Harris. Hey, wait up. I'm done thinking about it. Maybe you'd want to go through all the files together? Tomorrow afternoon, at Moe's, food and drinks on me. Uh, I think tomorrow we're free. Uh. <laughs> that didn't take you long. Yeah, sorry, I, I blurted that out. But it's still a good plan, though. It is a good plan. Okay, sure. Tomorrow afternoon at Moe's. Great. I'll make sure to bring all the files, and I'll see you there. Okay. Starting to have a bit of schedule. Okay. Make sure not to get too close to his nice car. Okay. Nice, people are nice. We're quick to trust him. That is okay. Tom, we're gonna have to be to work together. Uh, since we're I'm gonna be here for a little while. I'm gonna help him out. I'm gonna make sure we uh, get that done before we take off again. So, there you go. Rub off the truck and then back home. We'll find out what the secret plan is that she has. Good thing she had that Rolodex. That our parents had her son. Okay. All good. Oh. Okay. Sick there. I thought car radio was gonna stop working. She did warn us. Yeah, all good. Another successful day. No, Angie Eastman, you can't really create a woman with a computer. What movie is that? It's called Weird Science. You really haven't heard of it? It was a pretty big hit. I figured you, with your computer background. All right, I'll add it to the huge mental list I've been compiling ever since we started talking. So that's Weird Science, Life of Python. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, Brian, Monty Python's Life of Brian. Right. <laughs> oh, I you see know, what you, did there. you don't really look the part of a computer nerd either. Huh? I'll take that as a compliment. Thanks. Well, I do kind of have a thing for nerds, but I'm also a sucker for someone in uniform, so I guess you tick multiple boxes. <laughs> So, any particular reason you're not at the nerd factory anymore? No, we just kind of... Let's just say I needed a change of scenery. Okay, well, I totally get wanting something different, anyway. I used to live in Los Angeles. Oh, really? Then, yeah. Providence Oaks is pretty different. <laughs> sure is. It's quieter for one thing, slower for another. Yeah, 
Uh, you know what? That's good. Good on you for finding what you wanted. But the real reason we're here. So tell me about this plan of yours. Is the suitcase part of it? Oh, right. It's simple. I want you to distribute movies all over Providence Oaks. You mean for free? Yeah. You know the town, you're starting to know the people. Not all of them have VCRs yet, but that's why God invented movie boxes. And by God, I mean electronics companies. Look, it's a VCR in a box, and it's portable too, so you can take it to anyone. Wow, never seen one of those before. I've made a list of potential customers and the movies I think they'll like. All you have to do is just deliver the movie box with a movie of their choice. Then you go and pick it back up once they've watched it. Okay, but what's the revenue model here? Oh, you! Not everything is about money. It's about promoting the store. Which, I guess, is ultimately about money. Here, I'll give you these two to start. These are for Lori. You know her, right? The mechanic girl at the gas station, right? Yes, good. I have these two for her. The love bug and a nightmare on Elm Street. This one is about murders in a bathtub, right? Well, not exactly. You'll just have to watch it. But not before Lori gets a before. chance. I think she'll love it. After Lori gives back the box, I have a couple movies planned for Burt Mackey. They are Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. And that's it for now. If you're in, that is. So, you in? That works. All right. These addresses seem to be on my route anyway. I'm in. All right. Thanks a bunch, babe. Now, do you have any more of this great coffee? Actually, I really need to head back. Oh, what's the rush? I left the store unattended. Better get back. Oops. I understand. Talk to you soon? Absolutely. Here you go. Bye, babe. That, that's a good way, yeah. Get them hooked on movies. Know where they'll be. Hello? Hey, Meredith. Hey, Dad! How's life? I heard something about poker, fishing, and margaritas. <laughs> Talk to mom, huh? But yeah, can't complain. How about you? Do you like my job? I'm starting to love it. Being on the road, the freedom, the people. That's great to hear. Frank's quite the character, huh? Frank's quite the character indeed. He said you helped him out once. Uh, more than once. Well, what can I say? He likes baseball a bit too much. He places uh -oh. a bet every now and then. Nothing too serious. And what about Bert Mackey? Bert? Uh, Bert doesn't like to talk much. But he's got a heart of gold. Stay on his good side. Speaking of staying on the good side, your mom's telling me to hurry up. We're oh, yeah. going to a Listen movie. Tomorrow. Okay, Dad, don't keep her waiting. What movie? Uh, Stand By Me. Uh, about four Oregon boys in the 50s. Right up my alley. Sounds good. Say hi to Mom for me. Will do. Bye, Meredith. There you go. Good that they're, they're taking care of each other. Well, that's it. Uh, that looks it. Uh, yeah, that demo. Like, I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot more story. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of more story. But yeah, that was fun. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Uh, it just came out. Uh, if you want to play it yourself, absolutely play the demo. Uh, support the people. Buy the game. Uh, but yeah, I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot more.